Hi, this is Lou. Welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be making a knot cushion. So I uh, didn't invent these. I have seen a few videos and I've seen them on Pinterest and thought, oh, I like the look of those. I'm going to give that a go. So for my fabric, I'm using a felted fabric. It's actually a woolen blanket. I was lucky enough to find a charity that were selling a whole load of these and I managed to buy three. Um, and uh, yeah, I've used them for quite a few projects so far, uh, but it has been sitting in my stash for a few years. So I thought it was time to get it out and use it for something. Now, most of the knot cushions that I've seen have been made with knitted fabrics or a jersey or something like that. So this is a bit of an experiment to see whether it works and whether it looks good. So sadly, though, I love this blanket stitch on the edge of the blanket. I don't need it for this project, so I'm going to snip it off, but I will save it and probably use it for something else later. And I've cut strips of fabric. I uh, decided to go for 24 centimetres um, as the width of my strips. Um, this was based on the idea that I can create a little tube that's got seven centimetres in diameter and seven pies are about 22 and then a couple of centimetres for a seam allowance on each side. Now I knew I'd need quite a long uh, piece of fabric for this and my blanket was two metres um, so I've cut a couple of strips and I joined them on the short edge. I actually ended up using three strips and joining the three together. I ended up needing about five metres of fabric in all. So once I've stitched the fabric on the short edge, I'll just open it out and give it a little bit of a uh, steam with the iron just to keep it nice and flat. And then I fold my fabric over and pin it all the way down. And I'm gonna make a really long, thin tube all just by sewing along the edge. Now this fabric's quite thick, so when it goes through the machine, one side can kind of go a little bit faster than the other. So the pins are really useful for keeping it all nicely together, otherwise it can kind of shift a bit. And especially important to do a couple of pins on each side of the seam. Keep it nice and straight. And then when it's all uh, seamed all the way along the long edge, I spend a little bit of time turning it through. Now, if your tube is a little thinner than mine, you might need like a, a long stick or something to poke through it. But I was able just to reach inside and uh, pull some of the inside, like turning the world's longer sleeve inside out. So I just kept going until I turned my tube all the way through. And then it was time to stuff it. So this is soft toy filling. I ended up using three bags of it and my bags were 250 grams. So about 750 grams is what I used. So I stuffed from both ends into the center. And then I left about a meter at one end unstuffed because I knew I'd have some excess and I didn't want to waste the stuffing on it. This was the longest and most tedious part of the process. And when you've got your very long tube of fabric, like a really long draft excluder or a snake or something like that, then you need to tie it into a knot. Now I had a couple of goes at this on my own and uh, tied myself up in knots. So I recruited uh, literally an extra pair of hands uh, to help with this process. So I knew that the knot that I wanted to make was a monkey's fist knot and I've made them out of rope before, or string. Um, but this was the first time I tried tying fabric like this. So you decide how many uh, kind of ties you're going to make, and I'm, I'm doing two, but you can do three or more, uh, depending on how much fabric you have and how wide you've made your little tubes and everything. And uh, you wrap it around twice one way, and then you turn it 90 degrees, and you wrap it around twice that way. And then you end up with this bundle that's like a, a figure of eight. And then you uh, take your end and push it through the top of the bundle and then come out of the bottom and again you do that twice. Now 
I did a little bit of research on tying these knots and I found a couple of really useful videos on tying them with cord. So I will post those in the description. Um, I watched a few of those videos. I drew myself some diagrams and I practiced with some wool before attempting this with the cushion. You'll see at the end here, I've got this kind of bit of tube that I haven't stuffed. Now I do need to wrap this, uh, but this is going to be a very loose knot as I've as I've done it here, and we're going to tighten it up, and all of that unstuffed uh, tube will uh, will be excess. So at this point, I just need to count, make sure that I've got two uh, on each side. So on every side, there are two going in and coming out. So now the knot's tied, but it doesn't look very neat. So we need to tighten that up. So I find the start, which is in the it could be in the middle of the knot or it could be poking out a little bit and I keep a really good tight hold of that. And then with the help of my lovely partner, we just start pulling the, uh, the, the tube tight. Just keep following through and uh, find out where one goes and where it comes out and then uh, just pull it through. And you don't need to pull too tight at this point. What we're going to do is actually we're going to do a second pass. So this will get it to like a nice kind of uh, compact knot shape, but we can tighten it still further. So we'll do it once. And then making sure I've got a real tight hold of that start again, we do the whole thing again. And on this second pass, if there are bits that look a little bit untidy, I try and uh, smooth them out, neaten them out, and uh, as much as possible, roll some of the seams onto the inside. Now I'm finished and I can cut off my excess. And then you could just poke your inside back inside and uh, it would be nicely hidden by the knot, but I think I'd like mine to be a little bit more secure. So I'm going to take a needle and thread and just put a few stitches in. So this doesn't need to be very neat, so I'm tying a big messy knot and then I'm going to uh, just fold the edges of the, the end of the, uh, the tube inwards and sew them to the, the bit of fabric below them. I've moved my knot that's above it out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. And then when I've sewn it in nice and securely, I can move that knot back over the stitches and hide them completely. And when I've done that with the end of the tube, I can then uh, go back and find the beginning and do the same thing with that. Fold the tube inside itself and, uh, and sew it in place. So I spent a little while uh, kind of pushing and pulling and reshaping and plumping my cushion until I'm happy with the shape of it. So thanks very much for watching today. I really hope that you have enjoyed this and if you make one of these I'd love to know. Uh, if you post any pictures on Instagram, you can tag me at Lou Rachel Davis, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.